Hello, and today I'll be informing and showing you about compound gearing and how to calculate your gearing ratios. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any following questions after this video, leave them in the comments below. If you do not have a great amount of knowledge on gearing, please click the link above. Okay, here today, you can see that I have two models for you to look at. They both have compound gearing, but one is geared down and the other is geared up. To first understand compound gearing, you have to know what it is. Compound gearing is when you have more than one gear on an axle. The reason for using compound gearing is when you need large changes in speed or power output and there is only a small space between the input and the output shafts. On these two robots, you can see that they have a large gearing chain directly through the middle of each robot, but to better understand compound gearing, I have this model here. As you can see in this new example, I have two compound gears, an idler gear, and two output gears. These two gears are compound gears because the axle has two gears. The idler gear is the one in the middle because it has to space out the two compound gears. This is because without the idler gear, the two compound gears would collide. Last is the two output gears. These are the gears that end the gearing chain. In most gearing chains, there is an input gear that is connected to the motor. But since there is no motor, the input gear is whatever you are turning because that is where the power is coming from. Okay, now that you understand compound gearing, it is time to go over how to find your compound gearing ratios. The first thing you need to know is a standard gearing formula. It is GR, which is gearing ratio, equals number of teeth on the output gear over the number of teeth on the input gear. With compound gears, you have to calculate each pair of gears separate and then multiply them all together at the end. For you to better understand, we are going to find the gearing ratio of this robot here. As you can see, there are three gearing pairs in this compound gearing chain. The first pair is a 36 tooth gear turning a 64 tooth gear. So since 36 is the output gear, it is over 64 because it is the input gear. The next pair is a 84 tooth gear going over a 36 tooth gear. For this period pair, you put 36 over 84 because 36 is the output gear and 84 is the input gear. The last pair is a 24 tooth sprocket going to an 18 tooth sprocket. So you put 18 over 24 because 18 is the output gear and 24 is the input gear. Now that you have all of the fractions, you multiply them all together. First, you need to multiply the numerators all together, which is 2, 3, 3, 2, 8. Then you multiply all the denominators together, which is 1, 2, 9, 0, 2, 4. So you have 2, 3, 3, 2, 8 over 1, 2, 9, 0, 2, 4. Now you need to divide. When divided, you get 0.18. So your gearing ratio is a 0.18 to 1. Okay, in this video you were taught how to make compound gearing chains and what the gears in the chain are called. You then were shown how to calculate your own ratios with compound gearing. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any following questions after this video, leave them in the comments below. Thank you and peace out.